Hero Club presents Los Inglobanables de Tokusatsu. And welcome to a brand new episode of Los Inglobanables de Tokusatsu. I am one of your hosts, Wheelchair21, and joining me as always is my co-host, Project. Yo, what up? Um, nothing much. Pretty much we're, we're having another kind of off week. Stuff's kind of been weird. I mean, I got my new wheelchair, Project's arms in a sling... Uh, so, you know, stuff's getting a little interesting. So, this week is probably going to be light, like I said. It's pretty much going to be a little bit of toku, and we're going to do wrestling again, and the next week it's going to be all about toku. So, first off, we're going to be talking about this one thing that's been kind of rumored. We've been seeing, like, these weird, like, actual flyers on Facebook groups, on Twitter. But supposedly, the newest Ultraman in the series is going to be called Ultraman Exeed, Exade, almost, almost weird. It, it looks really fake because the name is X E A D, and it just doesn't look like it's a real name, and it doesn't even sound pronounceable. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be Exeed, Ultraman Exeed? But that would sound weird due to the fact we've already had Ultraman X. No, we already had Ultraman X Seed as a form. So, what? What 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 do you think, Project? Do you think this is a fake? Do you think this rumor is true? Because they say that this copyright is actual fact. That there's this is the true romanization of it, and there's nothing wrong with it. Well, if somebody could check out like you know uh, where the file the paperwork was filed for the copyright, then you can find out if it's legit or not. Yeah, I like I've been hearing this rumor because the original legit uh, copyright originally had it as Ultraman Z as Z E E D, but now it's back as Z D as X E A D and I don't think that's right either. But you can't really tell because of how Japanese like like their weird funky way to romanize words. It can be very interesting. So well, I'm Well yeah, so well, are there any scans or any possible like images, sketches or anything like that for the new Ultraman? There, uh... there's no no there's no suit designs. There's just supposedly like a logo to like a screenplay that it supposedly leaked online but like i have some doubts about that that it's you know an actual fact well check out what's it called like what's the history of like stuff like this coming out is it usually because orb just ended right or orb just ended and when orb was announced like it was rumored to be announced it didn't seem to like leak until uh. april not as early as you know late february or March, like there were rumors of a new Ultraman, but there was no copyrights. But I think this year they they went faster because Orb was actually popular. I mean, it has two spin-offs and a feature-length film. Oh, okay. So I think they're trying to capitalize fast on or uh, on Orb, but I don't know if they're going to continue the gimmick of using the Ultra Fusion cards because if they're smart, they want to they should try to keep the gimmick going for more than a season or two. Uh, well, I'd have to say keep your ear to the ground and uh, yeah. check out Hero to- check out Hero Club for possible news. It'll happen eventually. All right, and then the other news we'll we'll actually save the other part for last. But is uh we got some Q Ranger scans and some X Eight scans. They came right out of our newest issue of Televicoon, most likely because they come always like at the beginning of, of the month or at the end of the previous month. And we now finally have scans of uh, Ryu Commander. We have a. Uh, Shaolong Pao as uh, Ryu Commander with his Ryu Katama, his henchman device, the Ryu Sator, and it's pretty interesting. I mean, we've already seen scans of the suit, which was mostly the upper torso and the helmet. We've seen what the toy would look like, but the actual in-show prop actually looks well, looks cool, it looks a lot better. Um, I, I really do enjoy how it works, and... It looks interesting. It's pretty much a, a staff slash cane that turns into what I'm guessing is supposed to be a long range rifle, and it looks pretty badass. We also know that his mecha is the Re Voyager, and with the Kuma Voyager and Sasori Voyager, it will be Re Teuo. Uh, I, I hope I pronounced that right. So you did before it. <laughs> I don't Re Teuo Re Teuo. Um, I don't know. And before we get more into like you know uh, our you know b- new blue blue senshi, which is uh, Oguma Sky Blue, like Frodo, what's your thoughts on at least Ryu Ryu Commander stuff? You know his costume, like his actual suit, looks like a freaking um, uh, 
it looks like one of the sketches for I don't know which which Sentai costume it would have been, but it looks like they actually made it a reality in this in this series instead of an, another one. Uh, it, I think I know what you're talking about. I think it was like one of the old hyped out like suits for like. Was it Gokaiger? I think it might have been one of the early Gokaiger suits, which was Gokaiger suits or some of the other concept designs that were supposed to be like homages to like Bio Man. I, I think it's supposed to be what's it called? That that suit he's using was a possible sketch for freaking Gokai Silver. He was gonna have a trench coat cape thing. Yeah, I remember there's a few senshi in the past couple of years that were supposed to be like either their helmets had like a weird tribute to Bio Man, at least like how the visor looked coming off the helmet. But I'm talking about the like cape, man. But yeah, trench coat. Like trench coats. And I'm trying to remember who had the the trench coat. I think I really think it was supposed to be Gokai Silver and one of the senshi's before him or after him, but I can't remember who else had it. I I find it very familiar. It's yeah. familiar. It looks familiar, it, but I can't put my finger on it. I can't. I'd have to like go like over like one of the several rain, like ranger websites or wikias to figure it out. And it seems like his main villains that he's gonna like squash when he comes in are like the newest uh, introduced, like the the two tentacle ones, the the squid and the octopus guy, the girl, like that relationship or couple that they are, the magistrates. It looks yeah. like those are gonna be his his kind of guys to squash upon his debut. The new mecha is pretty badass. It's to me, I feel like the the mecha looks like the Ryu Voyager is kind of like uh, uh, a a purple version of Ryu Seo. Actually, the, I think the helmet, the, the actual mold looks more like uh, what the hell was? Uh, Dai was Jin Ryu. The Serpentera. And, I think it was Dai, Dai Jin Ryu. Dai Jin Ryu, yeah. The head looks like it, yeah. Yeah, it really does. It looks really freaky like that. It's really ominous of the original design. What well, I'm curious is what forms the legs? Is it for, is it it's it's in itself that big? It it forms its own legs. It forms its own legs, torso and torso, for when it's the mecha. So that, that means it's a arms. big oh it's a, because he's a big giant dragon. I can see it right now. This this scan. Yeah, he's he's huge. The mini plaw. The mini plaw has shown that he takes up four parts of the mini plaw. Then you have a reissue of Sasori, and then you have the the uh, Kogum, the Koguma. But, so the, you know what? I'm looking at it. He is Ruseo. <laughs> he really is. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be like a reference to him. It's an inside joke to Ruseo. It really has to be because I just because like look at that thing. It's it, it's like Ruseo mixed with Dai Jin Ryu. It, it has to be. It's Ruseo's bo- actual body. It, Dai Jin Ryu's head. And look at the thing that it's fighting. It's fighting like a giant pipe monster, similar to the pipe brain thing. He looks like his helmet looks like the Digimon. I know, his horns. Right? He looks like he's like, Greymon. He murdered. A, he murdered a Greymon. No, no, you filthy monster! You killed the Greymon. It's a Greymon Kitama that was murdered. It was. A, it was a Greymon that was murdered that was transformed into Kitama. Oh my God! Ryusei fused with Greymon. It it, it DNA digivolved. Oh God! You mean um, DNA? Is it not DNA? Is it DNA digivolved? Yes, DNA. In in Japanese, it's Jokros. Jokros. Or Dragris. I don't know. I, I don't know this gibberish you speak. <laughs> You've watched Adventure on on Netflix when it was subbed. What's that? Adventure Time? Adventure Time's in Japanese? What? Oh god. Yeah, there actually are some Japanese episodes out there floating around on YouTube, but that's another story. Yeah, moving on. Yeah, yeah. as far as this, as far as thing is concerned, I like I like his weapon. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's it it, it looks cool. Like, you know, it's an old school like cane, and then it becomes a sniper rifle. So it's really. I, Different. I kind of saw it coming. That was going to be his morpher. I, I know. It, it was, like we we, we we even saw it before he showed up in the damn show. That's the weird part. He shows up in episode four. The toy scans leak like an episode and a half before he even appears on screen. I like the fact that it's a multi-purpose weapon. He can use it as a staff. Use it as a gun. I'm pretty sure he can turn that into like a baton. Like fucking uh, what's his face? Um, uh. a bar black. Uh, I th- yeah, but I would also say it's more like the uh, the lunar Q, the lunar lancer, the the uh, with old, uh, that, that Gal- 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 Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But although th- the only thing I have an issue with is his costume is his chest piece. It's kind of basic for like, especially for the commander. Yeah, but you know it's funny. Continuing on with the whole fact is like we get the new guy, the new the new Senshi, which is uh, Kogama Sky Blue, and the weird thing about it is. Is that it's gonna be the one kid Kotaro Saka- Sakuma that we met, you know, when uh, well, once I saw you joined them. Yeah, but the Finger. thing is, but the thing is, 
um, there's a character called Big Bear who's an old friend of Sha Long Pao, or Sha Long Po, and he literally wears the same outfit as him. It's literally the same base body, but he has like a bear, bear head on instead. So, they, so what I'm guessing is all the commanders are going to have the same body suit, but different heads attached to it because they right, look yeah. identical. Well, I th wasn't it also hinted that what's his face? He used to be the original Oguma Sky Blue. Yeah, and then somehow Kotaru gets it, which gives him the ability to be like the size of a kid. But then when he uses Ursa Major, Ursa Mi Minor, he can grow to the size of a regular adult and grow even bigger to almost the size of a so sort of a small mecha, which is kind of different than we've seen in the past. So is uh, you, uh, do you think Big Bear's gonna die, or he's just gonna give up his power? He loses uses up his powers. I think he's just gonna like give up his powers or just pass over his Voyager. It it it, it, it we don't know much about it, and I'm not trying to read full details on what's gonna happen because I don't want to spoil, spoil our, yeah. our, Myself, yeah. our listeners. I'm like I'm like we're just gonna tell you like what the scans are because if you haven't seen the toys or haven't seen the previews, I mean it's coming. It's it's coming within the next four episodes. We also have like various things that reference Jason and the Argonauts. We have new Kutama showing up, which are gonna give them new abilities like fire, the ability to have extended jumps, um, and a few that gives them the elemental bursts, as well as supposedly become Spider-Man. That's to new walls. to me. Yeah, there's an ability here, stick to walls. It's called the Tokage Kutama. Oh, might as well call it the let's just call it the spider spider man Kitama, <laughs> and then they they can and then you, they use it to summon Leopardon. That would actually be a lot more interesting. Oh, you know what? It's just Leopardon Kitama. And then it's but the, knowing them, they would just make a joke move and just make it that it's just a repainted version of Shishi Voyager. Oh God, that's horrible. <laughs> you know that's what would happen. Yep. Well, anyway, as far as what's his face, Ogami Sky Blue, that kid play, uh, transforming into him, I, I'm gonna call it my prediction because I, I actually didn't really read. I just saw the scans today, but I'm basing it from the scans. Pretty sure there's gonna be at least one episode where both Big Bear and the kid transform into the same uh, uh, Q Ranger at the same time. That's a thing, see, right? I, I could see that possibly happening, but I don't. I don't think it can happen because there's only one Q Tama of the chosen Senshis out there, so I don't think they can duplicate that ability i don't know i wouldn't be surprised they do it i wouldn't be surprised but i'm not too sure like i wouldn't chance it has it ever happened like what's it called before no it hasn't right i don't think it can happen like that i, I it's, it's happened it, it well curry is the closest when both uh, curry violet both versions showed up but then except they showed up at different times correct yeah they they showed up no wait no 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 wait wait no 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 dude remember our finale um Curry Violet was in the goddamn Pleasolo, and then she was in the ground. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that could, it could work. I think they would have to... But, they had, because there was more than one, uh, there was one more... What, what's battery. The battery. Yeah, battery, right? The Jidenshi, there was more than one, correct? So, yeah. I'm pretty sure... Each, but uh, the, each duo, yeah, almost a duo, each Koyuger had six. They each had six of their own batteries. And they all had their own guns. Mm -hmm. But Q Ranger is only one per what's it called? So yeah, you know, you know, they'll, they'll, I'm sure they'll figure something. out. they want to do that, something like that. What they might do is just have him pass on the actual uh, powers. Yeah, Kutama. That's what I'm thinking. And then, then moving on to Exedo, we have uh, our new stuff, which is pretty much uh oh yeah, we have the new form of Parard. You know, is Parard DX or DX Parard or Paradx? which is like his new fusion of both of his forms. And it's actually pretty interesting that they're fusing it. He kind of looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh character because of his hairstyle on his helmet. And I think it's pretty interesting. Then we have the Kamen Rider Chronicle, and he's going to be, you know, a pain in the ass as long as, as well as Kamen Rider Poppy, who is either working with the Bucksters or is a double agent. I feel like she's a double agent. I feel like she got possessed. She got what's it called? She got reprogrammed. Cause she's too desu des to to die, but she probably will die because Emu needs another sacrifice to make him stronger. I, I'm pretty sh no. Yeah, I think they're gonna kill desu des. No, she won't. Come on, she Emu. can't die. She can't die. She's, no, no. He'll save her somehow. But yeah, what's your thoughts though on like, these these like weird XA troopers that I forgot to mention the the. You mean it's called the riot? You mean the the new Raya troopers? <laughs> the new new Kurokage troopers or whatever they were called. No, no, it's a riot troopers, sir. You go with riot troopers. 
Okay? The, the, this, these new versions of the Riot Troopers are kind of horrible. Although, anybody can use them, so which means they actually have support, okay, from, uh, from what I see in the scans. Like, yeah. I think I think one, a couple of the Doctors, and I can't think they're... Uh, what's his name? Brave Dad transformed into it? Or is that the, uh, the other guy, the head of the... the he- it's the, the guy who, like, saved his life as a kid, the Doctor, I think. Yeah. And the girl, that girl who hates Emu. <laughs> I think a lot of people hate Emu. Well, what did he do? Like, he's just that good of a gamer, okay? He's just that good. Or he's an internet troll. Probably. But Paradiax, like, his suit looks so badass. Like, he I looks cool. I'm going to pull out a dual disc and start... Hey, Will, did you notice his shoulder blades look like Taja Bills? <laughs> I know, they kind of look like they just ripped off the suit. <laughs> It really does it's less jagged. It's less jaggedy compared to Tajin Dolls, but I'm pretty sure that was the base mode for Tajin Dolls shoulder pads. I, I don't know. I just like his Yu-Gi-Oh like hair design and his tomahawk. His tomahawk looks amazing. That's just. Hey, so what the hell is wrong with your hair? I was wrong with your hair. <laughs> this series is like who has the best uh, hairstylist, the writer. I, I just don't. The color scheme, I'm kind of confused. But you know, red, red blue, violet. Is it violet or purple? No, it's just, it's just red and blue mostly. It's just uh, it's, it's just supposed to be like a fusion in a sense. Like he's those two primary colors. And here's my question: Chronicle is Chronicle supposed to be a separate writer, or is it? Because I, I for a second I thought Chronicle was going to be like Emu's fin- final final form. Chronicle, Chron- Chronicle isn't shown here in these scans, but he's supposed to be like an evil green green writer from what I saw, or at least he's supposed to be the final form of Emu's Emu's true ninety nine power. Like I. I don't have all the answers because I don't have all the scans from previous, you know, info drops. Yeah. But but I was talking with uh, our, our friend Zeltrax Millennium a couple of days ago, and I was telling him that a lot of Poppy's uh, pieces to her suit look like they're borrowed off of Malika's armor plates and, and, like, leftover clothing for, like, her underbelly and her suit, you know, because, like, look at her skirt. It looks like it's literally just uh, parts of Malika's chest piece taken off of her. With new fabric and new new uh, tie dye and all that crap, it's like a, literally just they took the basic piece without the the arms change uh, armor and then gave her that outfit, you know, for Poppy. Looks like the, yeah, her, her, I'm looking at the suit right now and I'm like, yeah, it looks like the basic uh, what the hell, what the heck are they called, the Ryo Trooper knockoffs? Uh, ride players. Yeah, it's like the base red player suit because it's all black, and then they slapped on a bunch of stuff from Malika. <laughs> you know her helmets. You know her helmets Malika's, right? Except they just took off the front piece. I feel like it really is. That's what I really think it is. That's what I have a bad feeling that it is. And also, the funnier thing is the hyper battle video was announced, and he, he comes somehow, back. Yeah, he revives <laughs> Kyria in the fucking hyper. Like, like that's so stupid. They just have to keep bringing him back after they kill him. It's like. Guys, we're sorry, so we'll just bring him back in everything that's not canon. He's a new beat buster. <laughs> <laughs> Except for common writers. <laughs> oh, we digitally downloaded him so we can just restore him for like 15 minutes. For 15 minutes? Or is it like, actually back myself up in the driver that Emma's using? Wait, did, cause, wait, whose driver is... Because Emma's driver broke, right? Is he using Kyrie as a driver? I don't... I don't know. I really don't know. We gotta we gotta backtrack the episode just to see because I have a feeling if it is Kyria's driver that Emma was using, I'm like, oh, by the way, I just backed myself up in the goddamn driver. How the hell did you do that? You're a freaking like cor- coroner, not a freaking scientist. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's any logic to it. I think shit just is now happening in the show, and I know for a fact that like they had to, they had, they purposely allegedly stopped doing the opening because they had to go make a new title se- sequence to match the serious tones of the show now because the show went from being like video game kind of you know exciting fun and craziness to being like darkness no parents like Gaim was it's like yeah we're gonna go and we're gonna keep the original song but we're gonna completely change the title credits to match the action that's going on now people are legit dying now <laughs> Well, yeah, I blame Christmas for that. Christmas brought us the greatest gift ever. Death. <laughs> you know, like every episode of Air, like every mid-season finale of Arrow where somebody has to die. Uh, it's, not, it's not a Christmas. It's not a, it's not a you know, we're, we're, we're taking a winter hiatus unless we kill somebody. 
Like, we're not going on break until somebody dies. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, God. Laurel. What? No! Dun, dun, Wait, he's, dun, back, dun, he's dun. back now. He's back no. now. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. It's the Black Canary Laurel. The, the, no, Black Simon I mean, Laurel, supposedly. That's going to take over full time. Uh, but you know it's gonna be it's gonna be either a redemption story or she's the big bad. I don't think she's the big bad. Well, somebody apparently uh, some uh, several news are, news sites are uh, assuming uh, are predicting she might either be the big bad or it's a redemption story. Well, because here's the thing. Oh, that actually could make sense that Prometheus actually was a part of that. Or or in my prediction, uh, they're gonna bring back John Constantine and put the original Laurel Soul back into that one. We were really begging for that one. We're just really. We're we're we're, 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 we're we're stretching we're stretching that out. Real, what's it called though? Or if they're smart, they somehow get the spear of destiny and use it. <laughs> they get a favor we, from the legends. Actually, actually, Sarah will probably would do something like that. Because you know Barry's not gonna do it. Because you know Barry's too busy fucking up the time stream. Now, instead of running to the past and ruining the past, he's going to fuck our future. <laughs> And uh, the other thing we'll be talking about, since I think we just wrapped up all of our news, I mean, like, we're looking forward to April's episodes, we're, we're, we're wondering if Exit's real, that pretty much concludes everything of news that we have this week that was interesting enough, that we uh, can go on to talk about Power Rangers Legacy Wars, the new MOBA game that's actually quite popular with fans. I'm not a fan, but I play it. <laughs> Then everybody checks my Instagram to see my freaking Super Power Rangers, my Super Sentai collection. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Fuck that. I mean, bleep. Bleep. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, whilst we were talking, I just ended up following uh, Hina's Instagram as well as Go On Yellow's Instagram as well as Poppy's Instagram. Oh God, I'm not the only one. Dun, dun. Dun. Actually, you're, you're not, because you, I don't see you following her. I was following her. No, you're not, because I'm the looking at her real Instagram. Oh, I'm following her Twitter. That's where I'm following her. <laughs> Twitter? Who uses that thing now? I don't know. Let's ask Matt Hardy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't shoot. Don't, do not insult the, the Hardy clan. How dare you? I will, sla I will slap you to the point that you would wish you would call on the seven deities to stop me. I'll just call him I'm the eighth deity. Don't you dare call Itchweed. I mean, Itchweed wait. ain't the eighth deity. We, we we said it was Willow. Wait, the one from the movie? No, no, the the Jeff Hardy persona Willow, the one with the Lucha door mask, the one who should be on underground Lucha. Uh, oh, you mean the one that co the mean the one that Jack Gallagher copied by using you know the one who used the umbrella? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jack Jack Gallagher stole that from Jeff Hardy. Sorry. Listen, listen, that is a gentleman's. Brother Nero. That is a gentleman's umbrella. He is using it correctly. No, he is not. He, he is too. You mean the, you mean when he beats people with it? Yeah, he is using it properly. He took he, he took it from Brother Nero. Sorry, anyway, the nef, the nefarious Brother Nero. But anyways, we'll be talking about the Power Rangers Legacy War games, which is obviously pretty interesting due to the fact that. One, the character animations and models and designs and actual stages you battle on are very interactive. They are highly detailed, and they're almost, I would say, platformer slash main console game esque when it comes to graphics. It's pretty good. It's one of the better like the mobile games that have really good graphics. Although it still has that stupid pay to pay to win kind of. You know, it is an it is an iOS game. You know you have to pay money to get the best stuff. Yeah, because because Darko was telling me since I have not really yet played the game that to get like coins and the power power coins and the um, and the uh, Zeo crystals to unlock a lot of your achievements like your crate loot crates, you have to pay to get those or you have to wait like two hours or more just to open it up. Oh, uh, it's actually a minimum two hour and level one it's two hours. Uh, as soon as you get to the better or the higher ones, it's like three to eight. Yeah. Like Darkon told me it's like ridiculous. Yes I mean, it is. But I mean when it comes to the roster, I mean you have Red Ranger, Pink Ranger, Blue, Black, Yellow, Green, but he's a paywall, Goldar, Zeo Pink, Psycho Red, In Space Silver, Black Black uh, Wild Force Ranger, Female, Red Ranger from Samurai, Xandred, uh Super Mega Force Yellow, 
Dino Charge Blue and Purple, as well as Snide, and the entire Legacy, the Lionsgate movie Rangers, as well as pretty much um, Elizabeth Banks Rita. So Actually, I have her as an assist character right now. I'm just working on getting enough Zero Crystals for her. But, like, if I'm counting this correctly, you have a roster of, like, at least 20 characters as a starting roster, and that's pretty high. I mean, I, I would think there'd be a few more villains in this roster, but it's it's decent enough. It's not bad for, as a start. Yeah, it's not bad as a start. You at least have five villains to, like, like, level out, I guess, you know, having 20, maybe, like, 20 to 15 rangers. So I guess, guess that's, like, the ratio is, like, for every five, you have at least one villain. Uh, level one, I don't think there's any villains in level one. Yeah. Level uh, two is where it's at, actually. But I, but I, but from what I understand, all of the gameplay, t you have to be online for it. You can't be offline, you can't be disconnected from the internet, or no. it just dies on you. Uh, you can only be, I think, I think you can only be disconnected from the internet when you're just waiting for your thing to load. The, the time thing for your, or for the, your the morph crates. boxes, for the crates, I think, and I've never tried it offline yet, so I'll probably try it tomorrow. And like I, I like, here's the thing. Since you've actually played the game, like how fun is the actual battles? Because like everyone keeps like everyone that I know that's played it with Dark on, they've all said that the game is is kind of repetitive. Like it's fun for like just to kill the time, but it's not a fun, fun interactive game because it's still a MOBA. Because you're you're paying to play if you want to really get hardcore like in this game. Like it's like a legit game. Well, it's like rock paper scissors, dude. So like paper, like paper, like paper beats rock, scissors be, uh, rock beats scissors. So it's just a matter of uh, your internet connection and yeah, how quick. Like, yeah, it's basically how fast your internet connection is. Yeah, because I I know that like you also have to like do a combo of cards, almost like it's like, like like some of the old school like you know war games where you have to just like like throw down cards and see who has like the better hand, who who can like add stuff up to make a better better hit and, and miss or whatever. And one of the ways you can actually dodge is by shaking your mobile device. Which sounds weird. So I mean like, I, I, I don't see the the good good in this game just just yet. Because I feel like they're going to update it because I hear a lot of people are complaining that the times are just too much. Like two hours to like more. Just to unlock your stuff is like ridiculous. Oh no, that's, that's the part of the thing because they want you to pay. I know they want you to pay, but I don't think really people want to pay. Then again, I'm pretty sure people all bought Green Ranger right now for like nine ninety nine. Probably. Like, if you're a person out there that bought Green Ranger from nine ninety nine, you've you've literally bought right into what this company wants you to do. You're, you're giving them exactly. Money. You're not helping the cause. Right. You're not helping. The no, cause. they're not. Oh, what? I got into a draw. That's bullcrap. Horse crap. I won that. As you can see, he's already playing it. What? I'm just explaining what's happening. Yeah, man. Like, if you have a good internet connection, you're gonna be really, really fast. If you have garbage internet connection, I did person. I, I, I don't know if you can do lag pushing here, like you people are doing in consoles, but I'm pretty sure it happens. I'm pretty sure you can do it. All you all, all you gotta do is just like if you if you're linked to your house's Wi-Fi, you can do it. But I heard Darkon said uh, he actually did give it a try just to see if it could work, and it, and he said nah, nah, it doesn't work that good. The lag switch might actually end up making you lose. Who are the characters that you would want in the next update? Like, name ten characters that you would like to see in the next update, and then I'll name like ten characters I'd like to see in the next update project. Which rangers would you like? Oh God, I don't know. Gold? Which gold? There's several golds. Jason Gold. Oh, Zio Gold. So that's one. Uh, let's see. You got nine more. I don't know, man. Fuck, I'm playing right now. I'm distracted. I know. I got you on the spot, making you. Oh, I know. But then he's gonna be a. He's gonna be a. He. he he's gonna be at the buy him. It's freaking uh armored red ranger. Okay, I can see that. You have to buy him. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Uh, armored black's probably gonna be a paywall too. <laughs> what? No, I can see that. I'm just thinking of the ones where are very unlikely because you have to pay for them. Because I want—that's why I want to see them. <laughs> just to see if you were right. Exactly. What well, you, you know, those two are going to be correct because the oh, fans want to see R black and R red. I could see that. Oh my God, Project. I know one that was going to count towards mine. Lord Draken will be a paywall from Boom Studios. Oh no. 
probably. <laughs> that that I can see for sure. Uh, you know what? Who else? Mega Force Red is probably going to be the, the next update. Oh yeah, I could see Mega Force Red at least being in there, if not Dino Charge Red. If that's oh no, rage. dude, what's his face? Um, uh, um the Quantum Rage is probably going to be another paywall, or he's going to be one. Yeah, he's going to be a paywall to come. Mm. He's popular, isn't he? Yeah, I don't think, but I don't think, I don't think the company thinks he's that popular, even though in the fandom he is like god tier. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's because Dan Sako is popular. I don't think he, he's not. He's nothing impressive. I met him. <laughs> he is gonna kick me in the face. He will. But he, he did will the first it. time. I, but he didn't do it the first time I met him, so he's not gonna do it now. <laughs> Just then, kicks you what? twice. What? What? It's not my fault. Kicks you he twice. He started it. Your wallet. No, he didn't. You started it. I started nothing. Yeah, you. You did. made him call my cell phone, you asshole. I didn't make him do shit. I asked. I asked, "Hey man, want to help me get this get get this friend of mine to show up at the party?" Nah, nah. Yeah, I didn't even know who the hell was calling me. He told me it was him. That's a lie. You're lying. Everyone, he's lying. All right. So, so you you already named like five. You have like f you have like five more. You have to name. Oh God. Okay. Uh, five more. Shit. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I know. Boom Ranger from <laughs> the Dream Sequence. Oh god, Orange. Yeah, I could see him being made. <laughs> the Orange one. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure... I wouldn't be sorry if they put him as again as a paywall. It'd be uh, Shadow Ranger. Mm -hmm. so, sha so Shadow... That's like your uh, seventh one. So the you have, like, the, you can the Phantom, Phantom Ranger. Okay. Yeah, he could be one. Uh, you know what? Ivan Ooze should be a goddamn what's it called in here. Yeah, yeah. I want Ivan Ooze. I, I'll agree with you with that. that all right. And then I'm pretty sure you're not gonna make it if they already used the suit. Uh, Neo Griffiza. I don't, from from the, I don't. I don't think they'll do it because they didn't use the suit. They didn't use the suit, right? No, they they used the Neo in quotations Zeltrax. I never can pronounce his name correctly in Abba Ranger, which was Snide. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Because. Uh, who else? I can't think of anybody else. You just need like one more. It could be like anything. Villain. Villain? But the vil you know what? Lord Zed should be in here. Yeah, it's like, I, I don't know why he wasn't in this game. But then again, don't forget this movie's kind of like to help promote the Lionsgate movie, so maybe they were afraid that young kids that might spoil them from ones who didn't see MMPR yet. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Or they're gonna wait till the next movie comes out, which means in like what in, two years? Yeah, like they put in Lionsgate Lord said instead. Like th these, like I I've already named two that I want, which was I said, uh, uh, Mega Force Red. I'm uh, not Mega Force. Uh, uh, it was Dino Charge Red. It was Lord Draken. I, I, I would like to see actually in this game. I want to see Ecliptor, Darkonda. Oh, Astronomer would have been what's it called? Astronomer. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Thanks for giving me that one. <laughs> I gave you nothing. That was my idea. Zenaku. Okay. And then I'll, I'll I'll name four four Rangers. So you already named uh you already named uh Gold Ranger Jason, which yeah is a good call. I I would say Turbo Red, but make it be TJ. Bales, he's not a red. He's a blue. <laughs> yeah, because it was obvious. Because cause the stupid, cause stupid uh, Tzacker forgot that uh, that TJ was also red and 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 made it that he was blue in in the mega super mega force battle. Um, <laughs> that was ridiculously stupid. I don't I don't understand that. I I, I question that that one. Uh, Magna well, Defe Magna Defender from Lost Galaxy. Oh man, what's his face? You know what? You you, you should have probably add what's his face. Um. Are you going to say Signal Man? I was. Blue <laughs> Centurion. I knew you were going to say that eventually. Should have had it him. Damn it. Traffic uh, safety, man. Or, Auric the Conqueror could be a, what's it called, support character. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Uh, who else, who else could be a character? Oh my god, this one, this one, this one's go, this one's going way o over, overboard because I know they won't get the license or rights to it, but Saban's Masked Rider. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I know it's not gonna not happen, gonna but happen. that would be amazing if they did, just as a as a troll. Oh, you uh, dude, you forgot White Ranger. Yeah, I, we, well, he's a dragon, so technically he is a White Ranger. No, he's he, no, doesn't doesn't count. Dragon doesn't count. 
Okay, but I'm just saying it would be fun if right, we have Boom Studios. I support character Sabo by himself. <laughs> Actually, that that would or, or or he's an attack card. There's no attack cards, dude. Oh, it's just okay. it's it's basically like support. There's support, uh, and then you're at multiple attack styles. Cause uh, once you use that, like, once you use up one, it switches out to a different one. It could be a it could be the defense the defense uh, icon or like a attack or a block breaker attack. So it's that's always random. You know what? You know what? I, I you know what? Two characters. I don't see them adding in the game anytime soon. Who? Wild Force Red or Decker. Well, that's the end of that episode. Bye! <laughs> Man, I think I just killed our conversation for, for the Power Rangers Legacy Wars game. Good job, Reels. Good job. Hey, had to end somehow. Luckily, I found the way to end it. But, uh, I, I mean, hey, if people are loving this game, good. I mean, let's, let's hope that they kind of be a little bit more lenient on the paywalls. But I doubt it. I doubt Sleep it. wheels. Leaning it on paywalls. Are you are you serious? What 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 Kool Aid are you drinking? <laughs> well, it's obviously not cherry because I would be enjoying it. <laughs> uh, but I, I I hope that this game somehow kind of gets some Bond brands to kind of maybe think of making a good you know console game. But I doubt that since the the uh, recent one was ba bad. It was garbage. It was pure garbage. You know what? Why don't you? I can make a better game. Some people, I know you know you're not really a big fan of his, but you need to watch Angry Joe's Power Rangers review, the video game. I watched it. You played it for me. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, and we were hysterical that it was like the one game we all agreed on. It was horrible. Yeah, like we were like, it's bad. It's so bad. Like a friend of mine says, it's fun to kill time with, like at his house, like playing it by himself. But he's like. It's a bad fucking game. <laughs> he says he'd rather just, like, find his, like, Sega Genesis or his old Super Nintendo and just dust that off, plug it in, and play any of the old MMPR games from those systems. Hey, uh, I'm just reading something really, really quickly, but, uh, the Kamen Rider Ghost that XA team up. You tell, I'm just reading, am I reading this right? They're battling a virus based on Pac Man? Yeah, dude, yeah, that, yeah man, that, that, that happened this Christmas. Or, couple of months ago yeah wait are you serious yeah they fought dr pac-man and he had on his team hiroshi tanahashi i i know then you know what they should you know what the writers should have done i know this movie is already over like done you called him kamen rider shibata to kick the shit out <laughs> the shit out of Tana tanahashi. Get the fuck hey man the, the pk kick is a writer finisher we all know this it really is like once you get hit with that you normally don't go you normally don't get up and then if you get up, then if you get up, he kicks you again. You know what? Somebody should do his entrance video and then put like explosions every time he PK kicks somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want to do that. You son of a bitch. Oh god. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go message Mucha right fucking now. Oh, like, geez. and, and he, you have to you have to play his like soulful theme song. Do 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 do. -do. It sounds like a lullaby, then it kicks your ass. Yeah, like, 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 like it, it, it first starts, it literally first starts like a ballad, like a really like contemporary ballad, and it's like, 80s anime! Da -da 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 -da. No, Wheels, it's the, basically, it sounds like a Shibata finish. He puts you to sleep, he lulls you to comfortability, and then as soon as you get comfortable, kicks you to the face. <laughs> oh my god, the lead in is the song over him, putting the person in the sleeper hold, then, oh, I can, yes, <laughs> yes! Yes! Kamen Rider! Shabata! You know, it's called Shabata Rider, okay? It's Shibata not Kamen Rider Shabata. Oh god, sh oh god, Shabata Rider. Oh, and anyways, even though we're kind of off tangent on New Japan, I think this is a perfect le leeway into uh, lead in to our WrestleMania 33 predictions. Sure. Okay, so. So. Uh, do you want to read off the card? I think you should read off the card. I'm actually playing a match right now, so I probably wouldn't be able to read the cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, so how should we? How, how, how do you want me to do this? Do you want me to do ones that we know are actually pre-show matches first, and then we work our way onto the card? Well, I'm on the Wikipedia, so I'm kind of just kind of the order is kind of weird for to me. Well, usually Wikipedia has the championship matches go on top. 
and then it works its way down with other cards like matches announced and then it changes to the match the order in which they aired on the program of that day and time um i i guess we're gonna go with the one who who looks like the most unfortunate title drop in the entire pre-show uh, Neville? Le- Le- no no alexa Bl- bliss's six-pack challenge against becky natalia mickey james carmella and naomi because we all it's 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 terrible. I I feel so I feel so bad for both of them. <laughs> I feel bad for the winner and I feel bad for the loser. Well, I think the winner's gonna get shit on because the uh, I don't think uh, what should have happened should should have been either a one on one match or a triple threat or even a fatal four way because it it, it kind of just it's a bit of a clusterfuck to be honest. Yeah, because here's the thing. Naomi said she wouldn't probably make it back to in time for for mania which we kind of knew she probably was going to or come back the you know the the smackdown after mania which i don't nope. know if that's going to be able to be possible no they bring her right back at mania because they're hoping to get a huge pop for her hometown however there's some fan theories that they might sneak asuka in there or have asuka debut on smackdown like that following week like that literally that the, the tuesday after and I don't know if these rumors are true because like none of the main wrestling like you know wrestling websites are covering it but like a lot of fans like i said it's a fan theory not the 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 websites that are talking about it that that's gonna happen and here's the thing i like alexa and at the same time i like naomi but i don't really like the the weird go-go dancer kind of neon rave thing i actually liked when she was doing like bad but i I guess the characters didn't fit her uh so I'm I I feel bad because you know one Alexa's kind of like the I I say she's like one of the internet darlings. It's like her and Becky on SmackDown, which a lot of people love, and then they're gonna just drop it to Naomi. I'm like I'm glad it's not going to Natalia of all people in that match because like Nat, like Natalia's character, I just I I can't stand it. I mean we all know this this is gonna be a title drop right to Naomi, and it's kind of depressing because she had to vacate it because she couldn't defend it within the 30 days, but then she just comes right back and they're just like here's the belt most likely unless they're actually going to have her chase for the belt like i don't think alexa's coming out of the match i will be shocked if alexa comes out of the match like what do you say uh i'm pretty sure it's going to be naomi's going to take that belt all right all right so so since we both agree this is going to be a naomi one the next one we're going to go to is like project sort of hinted at is the neville most likely dropping to austin aries and we we actually did not think this was going to be on the pre-show actually uh, we, i was hoping it's gonna be the main card even if it's maybe the first match of the night i don't care but it has to be in the main card hell hell i don't think we thought two of the matches on this car on the pre-show were gonna even be on the pre-show we actually thought most of the matches are gonna be on the 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 main the main card and i apologize for yawning but we actually thought that most of these matches were actually gonna be on the main card we seriously thought that they were not gonna do this but they did it we also i got a Sandra. You got a Xandrid. So, so like we we both agree that's most likely Austin Aries because that like because what is it? the the rule of Vince is he comes up with these plans like at the literally at the beginning to the end of December, and once it happens, it, it, he doesn't change his mind unless a wrestler is injured or like something like the the day of the show kind of tells him okay we need to flip the flip the switch and go in the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. So like that's that's supposedly the the, the thinking that Vince does like. He never usually changes his mind unless it's like literally the day of and people are flipping their flipping their wigs or, or he, he then or he or he purposely does the joke that he knows people are still just going to buy WrestleMania anyways. And then he then like decides to flip the script and do it the following night later. And that leads into the night after Mania bullcrap. And then we have our sounds about right. And then we have our Andre the Giant mem- Memorial Battle Royale, which honestly after the last couple of ones i don't think we had any expectations on who was going to win after the first two i think i don't think we had any expectations because like what is it there's been three there's only been three up until now or was there four up until now cesaro cesaro big show cesaro big show baron corbin this is number four so okay so the first so the first two we we knew it was going to go down to big show and cesaro like they were the only ones that were like like out of the last four that we all knew were going to be be there I think mm-hmm. Corbin was the one that we had as the dark horse in that entire match because WWE wanted to do big stuff with him. And the one right now, um, 
looking at this list, I I don't see many standouts except for the one that people keep talking about. And Braun? So, no, no, a lot of people keep... Originally, I heard the match was going to go to Mojo Rawley, of all people. No, I yeah. hope to God, no. Yeah, supposedly early on, the 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 hype for this match, I heard rumor that Mojo was going to win this match or it was going to go to uh, Big Show again. Because of what I hope happened, not. Sh- well, the, sh- the Shaquille O'Neal thing supposedly is the reason why it might go to Big Show. Unless it's his last WrestleMania, then fine. Yeah, but if it's supposed, not, this WrestleMania was supposed to be his last Mania, and it's supposed to be against Shaquille O'Neal. But as as Big Show posted on Twitter, Shaq wants to be a little princess. Okay. Anyways, so so I don't know. Uh, you say Str- Strongman, I say supposedly it's going back to Big Show because. Or, or my dark horse of the goddamn thing is Sami Zayn, because the oh, fact yeah, that he's yeah. feuding with Stephanie, yeah. well, I'm pretty they're, sure, like, it's the kind of, he's sticking up her craw, yeah, Sami Zayn should win that thing. And don't forget what, uh, supposedly Owens was pushing for before, before, uh, he ma- was made to drop his belt to Goldberg. Hey, as a, hey, don't forget, Jim Cornette has said it once, Kevin Owens is Sami Zayn's agent. <laughs> You know what the worst part is, though? With Cornette being at WrestleMania this weekend? Uh, oh, God. Kevin, Steve, Kevin Owens is like, hey, uh, what, J- Jim Cornette going to be uh, inducting me in my Hall of, he's doing my Hall of Fame speech? Oh, <laughs> on I, Twitter. I, 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 really hope, I really hope that, like, Kevin Owens, straight up, like, I hope there's, like, a part where, like, like, like Cornette's standing there, and he's about to say, and I'd like to introduce my friends. I, I, I find it funny if Cornette would get on the mic and go, I'd like to apologize to to, to Kevin Owens. I, I apologize for, for calling you fat. It's like, yeah, damn right. Like, like, he pulls out a list. These are things Vince has told me I had to apologize for. No, he's like, I apologize for nothing. I call him McGregor's <laughs> He gets thrown out of WrestleMania. <laughs> No, he he won't do that because you know why he like he 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 brought the Rock and Roll Express to hell. He helped brought the Rock and Roll Express to go get into the thing, right? So, and it's funny too because like he he was the manager of like their rival team, so it's ironic. But I mean, like yeah. at this, I mean, at the same time, at least, at least like from what I understand is the company is still on good terms with Cornette, but they're not on good terms where they'll hire him back. That's <laughs> that's what I that's what I've heard. Like, well, he does say a lot of ridiculous shit on his podcast, so yeah, yeah. no, I can see why. Yeah, yeah, the Andre the Giant Battle Royale, like, supposedly this is Big Show's last mania. Like, Big Show gonna go bye-bye. Uh, Sami Zayn, Mojo Rawley, Strongman, Big Show are, like, the big names I've heard out of the picks of who could win, and that's about who's it. The, who's the one who might, who's probably, uh, who's on there, but using an, like, who, who you think, who isn't probably gonna win, but you want, you kind of want them to win. Uh, he, this is the person I would like to see in the final five. You know, like if it came down to Strawman, Big Show, Zayn, and Mojo, I want it to be Rhino. You think? I would want to see Rhino in the final group of guys in the ring just because it's fucking Rhino or Mark Henry. But uh, I, I doubt that. Uh, I also believe that like there's this huge push right now for Bo Dallas, so he might be there. Huh. Like, 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 there's like supposedly there's a huge push coming for Bo Dallas, even though he's been getting squashed. But supposedly I think, that's a rumor. I think he's gonna be a, well. Apparently, Bray Wyatt's been talking uh, much. Uh, like uh, he's talking, he's praising uh, Bo Dallas. Yeah, well, it's his brother. He has to praise his brother. And like, I guess now Vince is like, yeah, maybe we should just let Bray be Bray and do what he wants to do rather than cause like, like even though he liked doing the whole cult thing, he said he wanted to do more with the character about how he 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 in a sense wanted to lead the cult of the fandom, like the fandom, because the fans were always behind him when he does his promos. So like, like I think Vince right now is realizing that like Bray can be heel and face, but he needs to be like how he wants to do it because mm-hmm. the, cra- the crowd, the crowd follows him. Because he actually is a good promo cutter. Like that's like like it's weird. Like take Taker cuts decent promos, but like it, like he he I've never felt like Taker like hit promos except when he was like American Badass, where he get the crowd like standing up like it was amazing. But Bray he like he like gets you energized. Like he gets you motivated even though it's like cult shit. He actually gets you motivated with that fake ass cult shit. <laughs> Bray like Bray makes me want to just go out there and like throw a fucking lantern at like someone's barn. That's terrible. That's that's how good of a cultist he is, and he's not even a cultist. That's horrible, dude. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I should tweet that at Bray Wyatt. I know it's all kayfabe, but man, you 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 make me want to actually like, go commit an act of arson. 
That's yeah. Good, good, that's how good your promos are. <laughs> yeah, man, that's messed up. That's so dark, bro. I know, it's dark. So, so all right, so the main card. Uh, I feel like th- this is going to be the opening match on the card. Gallows uh, Anderson versus Enzo Gall- and Big Cass and Sheamus and, and Cesaro. And the triple threat ladder match. It's either the opening match or the second match on the card. I, I swear and, to God. It's the and they should probably make the predictions. The, possi- the possibility that what could happen. Uh, you know, the possible the fatal, new signees. The, the fatal four-way. The conquest of gold. The, 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 the Hardys. The, the Har- Hardy family. I, don't know. I was going to say the Hardening, but that sounds really dirty. <laughs> that sounds really... Okay. It's kind of well. You know what? There's nothing wrong with that, Wheels. There's nothing wrong with it. It just we're not those type of individuals. We support it. We just we're dark. We, we're friends with Dark On, so if we support that shit. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not for me, but you know, good for, yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, if it does, if it turns into a fatal four way, we all know that uh, you it's know the, the, the bro the broken the broken tag team will be, will win. Now and if it stays as a triple threat. I actually, I kind of want the club to keep the titles. I want the club to keep the titles because Enzo and Cass have done nothing to really deserve it. They fucked Cesaro and Sheamus out of their rematch. Like, they deliberately fucked them out of the... Like, it was like... That was like the one douche, douchiest thing. I was like... Like, like I'm not gonna... Whoa, lie, like, t- time out, Wheels. The one douchiest thing? I really? Remember when Enzo Mori tried to seduce a married woman? Okay, okay. Enzo and Mor- Enzo, okay. Enzo and Mori gets them into all the problems they've ever been in. Even when they're the faces. No, no, Wheels, don't forget. In WWE, if you're a face, you can do heelish things. <laughs> it's true. But no, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, like I, I, I sort of argue this off the show a lot, is that Enzo, Enzo and Cass, even though like the, their gimmick is like something that fans love, I feel like they're kind of a one-trick pony where they just go, da 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 talk, 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 talk. Enzo gets beat up, Big Cass comes in, acts like Test, wins match. Wait, who's Test? Oh God, we're not doing this. You know, you know, Cass is, you know, father. <laughs> Cass is the illegitimate son of Test, or he's the reincarnation of Test. I mean, like, like he just acts just like him. He's big. He kicks people in the face. He's obviously Test. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a tough one. I, I, I just, I want Anderson and Gallows to win because they deserve it. But yeah, because I want them to be booked like badasses. You know what? Go to SmackDown. Go, go to SmackDown. Destroy the destroy that tag team division. They should not be on Raw. They really shouldn't be. They should be like with Jason Jordan, Chad Gable, and and all the other ones that are actually having a real tag division right now. Raw well, tag, Raw's tag division is just garbage, honestly. Well, because there's well, nobody I mean, there. Although technically, the jo- uh, the lot of tag teams are on SmackDown, but they're considered the joke tag team, which kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. But, like, they have better matches, which is astonishingly weird. It's true. Because I'm kind of getting sick of watching American Alpha fight the Usos. But that's, like, everything when the Usos were champ. It was the Usos versus the Wyatt family. That's, that's different, though. Cause like, that's, great that's, matches gets tiring after a while. That's different, though, because at least the Wyatts have character, and the Usos, <laughs> Usos sort of have character. American Alpha still kind of generic, white meat baby faces. I like just, them as wrestlers, but they're, they're just characters. They're just Kurt yeah. Angle. They're just Kurt Angle, year one. If they fuse, yes, but <laughs> the next this this is the the other match that I think could open the show. Dean Ambrose, Baron Corbin, because like there's been build up to the match, but it's just like not there like in the last week or two. Oh, we all know we all know who's gonna win, right? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can agree with me. It's gonna be Baron Corbin. I don't. Dean's not gonna keep that title. Baron Corbin needs to get straight shot to the main event, and that he needs to he needs that title. I think he needs it more than Dean does. Yeah, he does need it more than Dean because Dean's held it at least for four to five occasions already. No, plus Dean's too. But Dean has to get pushed back up to the main event scene, especially depending on who wins. You know, he still got a bone to pick with Bray Wyatt from that feud they had a couple years ago. Yeah, and yeah, if he feuds with Randy Orton, uh, it's a, it's a fresh feud. Yeah, it is a fresh feud. Like, this is the problem. The, the, the last, I feel like, okay, this is to be honest. I feel like they booked Dean a little weak. Like, like even though he was like when he got the belt we kind of loosely knew he was a loose paper champion but at the same time for for people who wanted to see dean get the belt because they they held it off so long when seth had the belt that and seth held the belt and seth held the belt and then seth held the belt that it should have gone to dean at one point and then like no 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 roman has to take the belt from from seth it can't be dean and i was like really and then finally dean takes the belt from seth like an entire year later when he should have already had the belt and then he held, holds the belt 
longer than everyone was told he was supposed to because even Dave Meltzer heard that the belt was going to get taken off of Dean. And then out of nowhere, Dean takes the belt to SmackDown. And then all of a sudden, AJ Styles is number one contender. Loses the belt to AJ in like his second de- title defense. And I was like, are you serious? That annoyed me. That that slightly annoyed me. Like, AJ did deserve the belt. But like, take it should have been a, Dean, there should have like been a feud. Second, the, there should yeah, have been a feud. And then, like, Dean's feud with AJ was like, I gotta get my belt back. And then, like, get screwed out of it. And then Cena takes the belt. <laughs> Cena has the belt. And Cena loses it to Bray Wyatt. And the Bray Wyatt storyline kind of went so, so typical that we know that Bray's probably going to walk out still as champion unless they're actually going to gift it to Randy since Randy's supposedly retiring in the next year. That's supposedly the, the rumor. Or Randy's going to become... This is la- Randy's last big run before he becomes a, a, com- a commodity like Cena. <laughs> That's supposedly the rumor. But, I mean... I, 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 I think... A part of me feels like Dean should keep the belt at Mania, but then drop it later. That's just me. Um, I don't think Baron Corbin needs a big win at Mania right now. But at the same time, after last year, yeah, I could agree with you. So I could go either way. I'm, I'm indifferent on this match. I want Ambrose to win because I like Ambrose more. And like it seems like that's the only belt they like keeping on Ambrose for a long amount of time. But Corbin probably does deserve it because... I mean, hey, the first thing he did when he went to the Royal Rumble was attack Strawman, so... Yay! <laughs> I, I, I have a weird feeling that this is going to be one of the other matches that opens the show, and it's actually Jericho and Owens. Like, Oh, you're right. But we are, who, do you, who do you got winning? It's probably going to be Owens. I, I'm going to agree, Kevin Owens, but I think with shenanigans from Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe's not doing anything in this WrestleMania, which is messed up. He's not... Uh, like I don't we can, I can go into that some more later once we keep on going down the card so let's go with Owens winning with shenanigans yeah o- Owens is probably going to win with shenanigans unless Joe attacks Rollins oh here here's my what's it here's my, I have one hoping uh, one thing happens though I hope Kevin Owens whips up the package pile driver because Chris Jericho will let him do that shit but I, I think Owens is really going to win this because why the hell not they just took the belt off of him in a kind of disgusting fashion even though Owens is kind of a company, company man because, you know, Trips brought him in and Trips, e- even though this, the storyline is I'm Trips and I'm evil and I'm using this indie talent to get my, to make myself look good. It's like, no, after after Vince leaves and I have control of the storylines, I'm going to make wrestling great again. <laughs> oh, God. You know, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, I feel like the next match is going to be, I kind of feel like the next match is going to be like Shane and AJ. It's true. Uh, I, I I really feel like AJ is gonna win. Like like come on now, Shane's in a singles match. He's not in a street fight. He, like AJ say, he's on no holds barred. Last man standing. I quit. It is a singles match. Shane and singles matches never go good hand in hand. Well, the one thing I think we can guarantee about this match, based on all what we, from what we've seen in wrestling so far, AJ's probably gonna Styles clash Shane, but Shane's gonna do something insane. He's gonna have hope, to do. I just hope Shane knows not to tuck his chin. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they're probably gonna have to work this match because there's gonna be some kind of spot where Shane Shane does something that's like a smart spot that's not insane insane but still a spot and a half. Bailey versus Charlotte versus Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. Wait, oh yeah, it's an elimination match now. It's not a, it's not one fall. It's an elimination. Fatal oh god! They should have just made it the freaking fatal four-way not elimination. Because at least you don't have to you don't have to beat you guys have to beat one, one person instead of everybody. I you know. know what? I'm gonna make a predict. I think Bailey's gonna retain, but Sasha's gonna turn heel on her at the end of the match. It's either gonna be at the end of the match or the very next night. I, I, like a part of me feels like instead though, it's gonna be like they just like all of them eliminate like Nia Jax and somehow Bailey and Sa- it comes down to Bailey and Sasha. But like Bailey doesn't know Sasha's still in the match and like so Sasha just sneaks up behind her, hits her with the backbreaker, and then rolls her up into bank statement. Uh, by, by bank statement. So I feel like it's gonna be Sasha by why cheating and stealing on Bailey. Like kind of like she, Bailey's not gonna realize that Sasha's still in the match and then bam. Maybe. Like, I, like I see that, cause like, like that, that's probably gonna be what's gonna go on. Uh, I feel like I feel like John Cena and Nikki Bella and Miz and Maurice are gonna be higher than Triple H and Seth Rollins. 
Yep. This is John Cena. Yeah. If so Mrs. Guess. If Miz is correct, John C will make sure he's closest to the top of the like the uh, at the near the end. Uh, Seth Rollins and Triple H. Uh, now imagine if we find out that they're the ones opening the thing because Miz is let just to screw Miz over. It's like how Miz <laughs> were going on at the beginning of the show. What? That actually, actually, listen. I'll, I'm gonna put this prediction out there. If Cena and and the Nikki Bella Miz Maurice match actually are like in the first four matches. I might like be like, holy shit! This WrestleMania actually might have some curveballs and surprises for us. What if but, uh, uh, this call of predictions? So I'm pretty sure it's John Cena and uh, Nikki are gonna win. It's good. It, they're building up because it's supposed to be supposedly Nikki's last one, even though, even though, like I don't know. Supposedly it's supposed to be like Nikki's gonna retire now because of her neck. So uh, John and Nikki are gonna win. Don't uh, forget, we, John might propose. Just to prove Miss correct, and as well as, because you know what, John Cena knows, like, alright, this chick's not going to be on tour anymore, I can do my shenanigans. Oh, God. <laughs> like, a part, a, part of me, a part of me really wants Miz to win, because, like, Miz... He deserves win. it? Well, no, no, not really, well, yes, but I, I, but the thing is, um, I, I love, like, the stuff he's been doing has been amazing. Like, this is, like, like, he's been so good as a heel right now, it's like, nah, he needs to go over, make him more hated Make him more hated. He's like destroying the Bellas. He's destroying Brian. He's destroying Cena. The only person he hasn't like wrecked yet is John Laurinaitis, and that's just because he's not even working with the company anymore. <laughs> Wait, is Johnny Ace gone? Johnny Ace is dating their mom still, I think, though. But he's not with the company. Like, I think he like I think he retired actually or something. He that's retired. I, I don't know. I'd have to go. I'd have to go double check. Who knows? He might be a producer in there. He's just not in the main company's hierarchy now, like on the road. But uh, I don't know. So I, 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 I'm feeling it's still gonna be John Cena and Nikki Bella. Uh, we already the Triple H Seth Rollins match. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't, I, like everyone keeps saying Seth Rollins is gonna win this match, but I'm like, Triple H has been eating too many defeats at WrestleMania lately. Just give this one to Triple H. Come on. No, Seth Rollins needs his moment, so I think he's gonna get this one. <sighs> I know, but I'm getting tired of seeing Triple H eat pins at WrestleMania. I'm getting fucking tired of seeing the game lose like the last three years. Yes, he has. He did. He lost the. He lost to Roman. He didn't. I... He lost. Okay, no, wait, no, wait. He no. He he he's gonna lose this year. He's gonna lose to Roman. He didn't. He beat Sting. He lost to Daniel Bryan. So at least he's he's gonna lose three out of the four matches we've seen of him in the last like four years. Well, he needs to put over the talent, right? So what can you do? Unless unless he unless he well he can't really feed Joe to Seth Rollins because that's not make that makes no sense. I know it's it's stupid. It's kind of stupid. Like I don't know. I just don't feel like I don't feel like WrestleMania should be the show where Triple where Triple H puts over talent. I'm like, come on, Trips. You got at least win a few more. I'm like, you're the goddamn king of kings. You're the game. But I feel like <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, Seth Rollins is probably gonna win, especially because it's a non-sanctioned match. And you remember what happened every other time Triple H has been in a non-sanctioned match. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Remember that one time that guy with the broken back beat him. Remember that time when Austin trapped him in a car and tried to kill him. I'm pretty sure that was that was a no DQ match. I don't know. I thought it was unsanctioned. Uh, it was sanctioned, dude. He just tried to murder him. There's a difference. Oh, okay. Uh, don't forget, we have baby face do doing heelish things. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, oh yeah. Then there's then there's uh this this is my yard match and uh, who will hire Senor Benjamin afterwards? Wheels, you know Undertaker's already hired Senor Benjamin. I know to dig Roman's grave. <laughs> But we all know Roman's gonna be. Oh, Roman's probably gonna win because you know how Vince has a hard on for Roman. I, I I know, and supposedly like Taker's gonna actually take the dive to Roman, even though like Taker's you know, been fucking with Roman's head game and like like the thing is when Roman came into the business with the Shield and and they were building up Roman even before the Shield blew up, like he was the dude, like everyone was behind him. But nah, then they pushed him a little too hard, and it was like, nah, fuck you, Roman. Like I, I, like, like I still like Roman. I don't hate Roman like everyone else is, but I'm like, I'm like, just please take Roman off TV for a while because I'm getting tired of all the haters. Because the thing is, I, I, I have no respect for the guy. For, for, for the record, we like Roman. It's just a matter of like, we don't like how the fans in WWE treat the fans are treating him and how WWE is booking him. Mm-hmm. Because he is a good, like, like a, a lot of people say, oh, Roman gets winded. And I'm, like, looking, like, yeah, his first year and a half, but, like, now Roman's able to, like, 
work a good match, even if sometimes he's carried a bit, he's able to work like a 20 minute, 30 minute match. Example, like some, AJ, some AJ yeah. Styles it is. Like he's, like, Roman's done shit, so it's like, I, I, I can't hate him i can't have any problems with him you think they would you do you think they would boo him had he would had he be the one to turn heel instead of seth <sighs> it's weird because like the entire time still with the whole breakup i thought it was going to ambrose i thought ambrose was going to betray them so did i everybody assumed ambrose but you know i know he wasn't it was seth rollins of all people so i mean the the the, the roman match the taker taker match I, I don't care who wins as long as like somehow they actually do a good match, but I don't know how Taker can go with Roman. Like it's gonna be pretty. Well, Taker's gonna be carrying that match then, right? right? I feel like I feel like Taker's gonna have to dictate, but Roman might have to do the care. I feel like it's gonna be one of those ones where take. No, I feel like Undertaker's gonna try to keep keep like the spots, like you know, figure out where the spots are gonna be, like the ring general. But Roman's gonna have to do the carrying. Hi, right. That's what I have a weird feeling is that like I, like I'm gonna think that this match is still gonna be decent, but it's not gonna be expectation of what we have wanted had this match happened a couple of years ago when like they were hyping it for it to be like at a at a you know a month a regular monthly pay per view you know not one of the big four. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how it plays out. I hope there's a heel turn. I I, I hope like like supposedly this is supposedly the bit the last Undertaker WrestleMania, but I heard that that was last year. But Taker still still is gonna keep going like supposedly like we don't we don't, like there's the thing we don't know what taker taker's a wild card like he like every every year it's like oh this is taker's last this is taker's last ever since he lost the the, the streak so it's like i think taker's just gonna keep going now since it's like one one match a year i think he's gonna keep going unless like there's like you know spots in the year where like vince actually convinces him to come back and and do something you know so like I, I don't know i think this match is going to be decent uh and then we have our two championship matches first we'll go with uh i guess wharton and bray since we talked about it earlier what's what's your thoughts on who's going to win that i feel like like i feel like like bray is going to keep it but a lot of people keep saying the belt's going to get dropped wharton's dropping the belt but i i don't think so i think they're going to have bray keep it and and universal belt go to brock lesnar i i think that's what's gonna happen well somebody's gotta beat brock so it has to be roman so yeah i i don't know i really i really think uh it's gonna happen i think that it's gonna be bray's gonna keep the belt and brock brock's gonna take it off goldberg so i think that's what's gonna happen because because there was that weird thing that they were saying uh when watching uh what culture that usually if there's two main belts only one changes hands at the show and rarely do both change hands at wrestlemania well goldberg can't beat brock uh, this many times in a row brock has to get that win back yeah he really does he has to be the conqueror but i don't know but do you think it's gonna be a short match or do you think he, like it's gonna be like a a short short match where goldberg, where goldberg is decimated by brock 15 minutes. Go back and forth. It'll be at least a 15 minute match. I, I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping at least at least eight to ten. At least at least at at least at, at least at least. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping they at least go a little bit further than they they could. At least maybe and make it better than the one they had at 20. Well, anything any match is gonna be better than 20 in the WrestleMania 20. Probably. And uh, the or the Orton Bray match. I don't know. Like a lot of like the funniest thing is is I've been talking to people on online. And the biggest matches on this card are Shane McMahon, AJ Styles, Rollins, Triple H, Cena, Miz. Like, those are the three biggest matches on the card that people are most interested in. And all the other matches no one really gives a rat's ass about. Is that shocking, Project? No, no one at all. About the champ. Like, no one cares about the championship matches. So, like, how, so how crazy is that? No one cares about the championship matches. I, it's weird. Boggling. So, I mean, with that being said, uh... For those of you listening, if you have your own predictions, just leave them in the comments below. I mean, this episode goes up Saturday afternoon. So yeah, like, you know, hopefully, like, 24 hours before WrestleMania to tell us what you think or what your thoughts were after the show. And uh, with that being said, um, I'm Wheelchair21. You can find me on Twitter at Wheelchair21, YouTube Wheelchair21, Facebook Wheelchair21, and my Instagram is Tadja underscore Doyle. Project, how can people find you? Uh, Project One on t Instagram and at Project RDM on Twitter, and that's pretty much where all you can find me. All right, and don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Hero Club for Life. We are Los Inglobanables de Tokusatsu, and we thank you for listening. Hey, it's Wheelchair21, and thanks again for listening to an all new episode of Los Inglobanables de Tokusatsu. 
If you want to hear more content or see more content from the Hero Club YouTube channel, we're going to need you to subscribe, like, comment with some feedback, and share this channel with a friend. We also would like you to check out our website, hero-club.com, and follow us on various social media outlets just by looking up Hero Club for Life, as well as the stores you see are where we shop. Anyways, thanks again, and we'll see you all next time.